Buckle up. The Detroit Auto Show is back tonight. A glimpse into the future with must-see innovations, EV advancements, and state-of-the-art simulators. Join us as Channel 7 puts the spotlight on technology. It has been three long years without the sounds of revving engines and the excited cheers of auto enthusiasts in downtown Detroit. But the North American International Auto Show is back in the Motor City. Good evening and welcome to Huntington Place. I'm Brian Abel. We are live in the middle of the action for this highly anticipated celebration of auto mobility. And this year, the show is bigger than ever before. Everything we love about the Detroit Auto Show has grown beyond these four walls, rolling into the iconic Hart Plaza on the best riverfront in America. This indoor-outdoor setup, first in show history. The major expansion promises to give car fanatics an immersive experience from virtual reality to ride and drives on next year's Grand Prix circuit. But here in Huntington Place, about 30 brands are surrounding me on the show floor tonight. It is truly an impressive collection of new and rare vehicles. 7 Action News reporter Sarah Grimmer has been here all day as well following the big announcements and reveals. And Sarah, what are the highlights? Brian, there is so much to see at the auto show this year, but this year it's all about showcasing the technology that exhibitors say will eventually be in our own cars. In other words, the future of the automobile industry is all around us. Electric planes, cordless charging stations. You drive your car and you park over the charging pad and you charge. Cars that smell. Then we've also brought in one more and that's called Digital Scent. And dinosaurs? Aww. The 2022 North American International Auto Show at Huntington Place is full of interactive exhibits and a clear theme, the future's electric. What we've developed is a uh, cable and a connector system that actually liquid cools the cable and allows you to be able to charge at 500 amps and 1,000 volts. In the Automobile D corner, dozens of exhibitors demonstrate how charging will soon be faster and more accessible. At this booth specifically, e-mobility tells us their charging stations will be able to fully charge select EVs in 15 to 20 minutes. You're certainly gonna see more and more of these. And while these exhibits tout the practicality of driving electric, manufacturers like Lincoln will sell you on the luxury. You're seeing this, this curved panoramic display. So this is something that's new for us, goes from coast to coast. This allows us to show uh, any kind of footage that we would want to put on there. A July survey from Consumer Reports listed logistics, vehicle range, and overall cost as a top factor stopping Americans from buying electric. The 2022 Detroit Auto Show looks to address and resolve each of those worries. This foreshadows uh, what you're going to see in our production uh, EVs. You're also going to see a lot of AI at the auto show this year, so we actually just ran over here to the Moment AI booth. We have Megan, she is the CEO, and Megan, this booth is really cool. Can you talk to us about what you guys are showcasing here? Yes, Sarah. Well, so at Moment AI, we are developing AI that can detect seizures, so they call like arrest, strokes. We look for major health events. So Sarah, you look at this camel, now close your eyes. And as you can see, it's saying user is sleeping. Things like that is like a blackout. So if we can detect a blackout, we can detect alcohol intoxication and several other events that affect 100 million people within the United States that are elderly and that have pre-existing conditions. And Moment AI, we partner with GW to develop this. So this is something, thank you so much, Megan, that you can actually put in your car to help out with safety when people are falling asleep at the wheel. Brian, it's just the tip of the iceberg with all the technology that people can come and experience for themselves at the auto show this year. Incredible stuff, Sarah, thank you. 
Detroit has been designing and defining the future of auto innovation for decades. The auto show started as a small event, if you can believe it, back in 1907. Since then, we've seen flashy displays, historic introductions, and game-changing concepts. The event growing into an international sensation, putting the Motor City on the map. And now in 2022, Detroit is once again driving the auto industry forward with a focus on technology. And joining me now is Thad Zad, the president of the Detroit Auto Dealers Association. Thad, thank you so much for being here. My I pleasure. appreciate the time. So in this room, there are about 30 semifinalists for North American car, truck, utility of the year. Correct. How does that factor into the energy here? And is there any particular one we should be on the lookout for? Well, I mean, the energy here is absolutely electric. Well, not only from the vehicles, but from the vibe here, right? It's all new reimagined show. So yeah, the North American Car and Truck of the Year adds to that energy. And I would say the one eye to keep an eye on is probably the Ford Lightning. It's getting a lot of buzz around here. Keep an eye out on that one. All right, so obviously there's been some changes Lots. since the last time the auto show was here, including the time of year. Yes, huge. So tell us about that. How did we get to this moment? We've looked at a lot of different months, talked to the manufacturers and see what they want to do as far as going to market. And the way they market vehicles today has completely changed. So they really want to get people behind the wheel to experience this technology. And that's exactly what the consumers want as well. So having it in September, opening up to Hart Plaza area gives us all this wonderful space inside Huntington Place to do activations that you see behind us uh, and experiences where these people can get behind a hybrid SUV and go up a 40 degree hill and climb it right in Huntington Place literally inches from the roof line but so we're really excited about the time of year it's beautiful outside tonight the mustang reveal is going on right now in Hart plaza i just walked over there walked back the crowd is buzzing couldn't do that in january no yeah, absolutely we've said that over and over so many comments of people walking outside taking selfies smiling enjoying the you know the 61 foot tuck out front it is electric downtown detroit is going to be rocking these next couple weeks it's all very exciting and we are looking forward to the rest of the week Thad, thank you so much Our for pleasure. your time. Thanks I for having us. It. Take care. All right, that was Thad, president of the Detroit Auto Dealers Association. So there is a lot of work that goes into the vehicles that we are seeing here tonight. Engineers at Ford, for example, are changing how these cars are made with a dynamic driving simulator. The 7 Action News reporter Mike Duffy shows us how it works. Gone are the days when car manufacturers like Ford could only test it if they built it from the ground up. While simulators have been around since the 1970s, the technology has gotten so good that Ford is now able to try out various road conditions and changes to the car's features, all with just a push of a button. Robert Rivoli is Ford's Advanced Driver Assist System Simulation Technical Specialist, and he's showing us around. We're standing in Ford's brand new uh, dynamic simulator lab. He says the technology has come a long way from earlier simulators. This is bigger, um, better, um, so we have more capability here. What you're seeing in front of you is a platform that enables you to give an immersive experience to the driver. And really, that helps you understand and feel the emotions that you would feel driving a real vehicle. The technology has already been used to develop Ford's vehicles of the present. And some great examples of our, our fine product that has come out would be uh, Maverick. Uh, Mach-E, as well as the new Ford Lightning. As well as of the future. We're able to look at vehicles and drive vehicles that are still five to seven years out from customers' hands, or maybe even concepts that are 10 or more years out. Of course, I couldn't just take his word for it. I had to get behind the wheel. They're pulling away the stairs, so we're about to get started. I hope you're as excited as I am about this. I started out slow. So right now you're driving a Maverick, our new small pickup truck. So this was developed using this simulator. So this handles just like a Maverick would. I mean, all the feels that I would experience in a Maverick I'm experiencing right now. Correct. The machine let me experience in an instant what it's like going from driving a Ford Maverick to driving the Ford Lightning. Yeah, actually I would say this already feels different, maybe a little smoother. You are perceiving all the things that you should. Okay. I also got to experience those same vehicles when different weather, time of day, and road conditions were applied. Oh yeah, this is a rough road. Oh, 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 oh. 
Sometimes it even got so real watching the cars pass me by that my driver muscle memory just kicked in. I was just trying to signal. It's good that you're that immersed. <laughs> All right, hate to end it, but I guess we got to. All good things must come to an end sometimes. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate God. that. That was no problem. Fun. Our pleasure. We have so much more to come from the hearts of the Motor City, including an exclusive sneak peek of Ford's next big launch, plus electric solutions from a local startup, the charging system that's helping cut costs. And we are heading outside after the break, a cruise through Heart Plaza. The latest and greatest in auto innovation on display in downtown Detroit. But in Hart Plaza tonight, it's all about the pony cars. And that is where we find 7 Action News reporter Faraz Javid. Faraz. Brian, you can't have all the fun. You and Sarah, no, no, no. Fun is happening here <laughs> outside, outside in Hart Plaza. This is where things are happening. People can do lots of things to see and do. Let me give you a quick taste. So first of all, Air, exp air mobility experience. This is where electric takeoff, landing, jet suits, this is what people can experience here. And of course, when they, when they get done with that, they can take a look at all these monster trucks behind me. Now, one of them is probably the world's first battery powered monster truck. Now, since this area is dedicated to Ford, you can have a taste of all generations of Mustangs over here. I'm standing between the sixth generation and the fourth generation Mustang, the biggest change between both of them, and Ford lovers know that. It's the engine among all the other changes. Now, the biggest thing that's coming to this section is the convoy that left from Dearborn. Over 2,000 cars. Let's cue that video and take a look at all those cars heading here. The Stampede, that's what they're calling you. And why they're coming here? It's for the big reveal. The seventh generation Mustang is being revealed tonight at 815, but we've got exclusive look for you. So stay tuned, Brian. That's coming up next. Talk about a tease. Can't wait for that for us. Thank you. But one thing is clear, the future is electric. Every year, we are seeing more automakers roll out new EVs. As popular popularity grows, so does the need for chargers. Detroit startup Plug Zen is developing technology that makes charging affordable for everyone. Plug Zen is an EV charging manufacturing company. We have developed an EV charging solution that allows 10 vehicles to be charged simultaneously, wired or wirelessly. We call it the EV All system. The EV All prototype has already been installed at the Detroit Smart Parking Lab, which is a tech hub for EV innovators. The system can cut the cost of installation and equipment by up to 50%. It works with a main node, which charges two vehicles. Owners can then add up to four more charging nodes for up to 10 vehicles. Founder of Plug Zen, Q Johnson, says this is a solution for multifamily housing, workplaces, fleets, cities, and communities that have been overlooked for electric vehicles. Our motto is we're putting the EV in everybody. Being able to put an efficient charging system in these communities allows them to have a voice. It allows them to have an impact when it comes to global warming because these communities, believe it or not, are sometimes more affected by global warming than other communities. And the feedback has been all the same. How soon can we get this? More hot rods and hot tech to come. We are heading back out onto the show floor. A look at the gadgets and gizmos making headlines. That's next. The Detroit Auto Show off to an exciting start with several major reveals. The 2023 Chevy Tahoe, Jeep Wrangler Willys 4XE, and the Chrysler 300C all introduced in the last 24 hours. Sarah Grimmer getting an up-close look at the cutting-edge features built into some of these vehicles. And Sarah, looks like you're having some fun. Yes, Brian, we are very excited and a little bit nervous we're behind you right now and right now we are in something called the 
Badlands Sasquatch. Exactly. It is a Bronco. We have AJ, our driver. And AJ, oh, this is pretty steep. What are we doing? We're going to drive up and over Bronco Mountain oh, here. Shoot. <laughs> uh, this is a 33 degree incline. Um, and wow. As you can feel the Ford Bronco handles it no problem. Um, you know, the Ford Bronco is a really amazing mix of old school four wheel drive technology. Uh, uh, what are we seeing here? We're at the top. What is this? We've got this split screen amazing high definition monitor showing us our front tire. So you can see that's our left front, our right front tire. This allows us to perfectly place the vehicle in the environment. This is a, one of many examples of the technology involved in the Ford Bronco that really makes it an incredible off-roader. Right now we're kind of at the top we of the auto show. We sure are. If you look in the monitor now you can see we're high above the rest of the auto show floor. Um, and we can use another cool piece of technology which is trail control and all we're going to do is tell it we want to go one mile an hour down off the hill and Whoop. it's going to go one mile an hour down off of Bronco <laughs> Mountain. If you're ready, I'm ready. Are you I ready? Hope you guys, I think I'm ready. I, think I'm ready. <laughs> I hope you guys can see on TV just how steep this is. People can do that for themselves when they come to the auto show. Absolutely. We'll be out here um, all day every day while the auto show is up and running. Absolutely fantastic. And I mean, all of this just to showcase the capability of the Bronco when you go off-roading and you're that steep. It's amazing, right? I mean, you can do just about anything in this vehicle. And it used to be that technology slowed us down as off-roaders. Now it's really enhancing our experience. That's fantastic. Well, AJ, thank you for that experience. Um, Brian, you guys are lucky that I was on live TV for that because had I not been, probably would have been a little bit of squealing in there. That's steep. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, that is quite the steep decline. We can see it from over here. And as we've seen, technology is key to solving all kinds of problems. And that's why Delta Dental teamed up with Care Mobile and the Ford Motor Company Fund to find a solution for a lack of dental care access. These Ford Transits are outfitted with the latest in dental technology from x-rays to teledentistry. These mobile units are pretty self-contained. You can get everything from screenings and cleanings, the simple things, x-rays. You can get a full exam. You can get an extraction. You can get crowns, cavities filled. They're pretty full service. These mobile dentist offices are going door to door in Corktown in Southwest Detroit. These are areas of the city that have high need for oral health care services and lower density of practicing dental professionals. People have transportation problems and we know that that's the number one reason why people in low income communities don't access health care. And behind the wheel of these mobile offices. We gave one mobile dental unit to my community dental centers run by Dr. Deborah Brown, a phenomenal dentist in our region. And we gave one to Deanna Alexander, a hygienist who has been doing mobile dental hygiene for several years with tools that just weren't adequate to meet the demands. We put two units in the hands of black dental professionals. Our hope for the minority dental professionals who've received these vans is that they will be able to grow their businesses. It was an investment in minority wealth and public health. Delta Dental's partners in this project were Care Mobile, who are mobile dentistry experts, and the Ford Motor Company Fund. I think when we think about the Ford Fund and Delta Dental and Care Mobile, it, it really came down to just leveraging different expertise. So bringing them together with a common cause and access to dental care really enabled us to, to put this together and I think be more impactful. There's just a lot of things that get in the way for some people. And we think taking those issues away and providing this door-to-door -door delivery is going to help a great deal. A major reveal just minutes away. Ford is keeping its new Mustang under wraps. After the break, an exclusive sneak peek of the seventh generation pony car. It wouldn't be the Detroit Auto Show without a highly anticipated debut. And Faraz is outside for the front row seat. Brian, I'm here to make you jealous. This is the moment. I'm in the belly of Hart Plaza. First time before the world sees this, we got an exclusive sneak peek for the 2024 Ford Mustang. I've got Gian from Ford here who's going to tell me real quick 
What is so special and different about this vehicle? Seven generation, all new, hometown. This is our hometown sports car. We're about to reveal it in seconds, and we wanted to give you an exclusive look. Let's see it. Let's take a little peek Pump here. Pump the brakes. Look at, let's take a look. Oh, and the signature tail light. That's right, the tri bars. <laughs> I love it. Now, remember, the big reveal is happening at 815. You can catch it exclusively on Ford's YouTube page and social media page, and of course, on Channel 7, the 7 Action News at 10 p.m. and 11 p.m. We'll have more details about it. Brian, I know you're jealous. Don't, I can see you fuming right now, but you know what? Back to you. Just a little peek there for us. Thank you. We have had a great time giving you a glimpse into the future tonight. Thank you for joining us as we celebrate the return of the beloved Detroit Auto Show. We hope to see you downtown for all the excitement this weekend. Have a great night.